This is Crystal Fenn from MedPage Today. I'm here at the American College of Rheumatology meeting talking with Dr. John Sundy from Duke University about findings from his studies of pegloticase for treatment-resistant gout. So, Doctor, this is a patient population with severe disease but few treatment options. Is this agent going to change that? I think the key thing is that there's a population of patients with gout who don't respond well to existing therapies, and they have very severe manifestations of disease, which affects their quality of life um, and uh, leads to disability. And the implications of this, that if we can actually uh, use a drug like peglodicase to reduce the burden of uh, uric acid in the body, uh, we can see improvement in these other important clinical parameters and uh, see reduction in the amount of disability, improvement in quality of life, reduction in pain and tenderness in the joints themselves. So it offers a potential treatment option for people for whom there's really no other option at this time. Now, you reported possible cardiac problems, a few deaths, a relatively high rate of infusion reactions. So how high of a hurdle is safety going to be with this agent? We do see uh, some adverse events uh, related to the study, um, and I think the important thing to keep in mind is that this is a very sick patient population that has multiple problems such as chronic kidney disease, heart disease, history of congestive heart failure, and hypertension. And so uh, these are people who uh, will have uh, problems regardless of whether they're involved in a study like this. What we haven't seen at this point is whether there's any statistically significant difference between patients who receive peglodicase or placebo, but it's important that we continue to follow patients uh, long-term, especially in our open-label extension study, to see if there's any evidence of um, a safety signal with the drug. Uh, the most common side effect that we see are gout flares, which is typical for any kind of a uric acid-lowering drug trial. Uh, some patients developed infusion reactions, which uh, were commonly associated with production of antibody to the drug itself, and were generally manageable, but caused uh, was the most common reason that people were discontinued from the trial as well. And in this uh, affected patient population, we did see some uh, cardiovascular adverse events. And again, we'll have to really uh, look longer term to see whether uh, this is a signal associated with a peglodicase or it's just the nature of patients with this level of severe disease. So the important thing, I think, is that this is really targeted toward a particularly severe um, and suffering uh, patient population. This is not something that is intended for uh, people with um, with a new onset of gout or people who have not been uh, treated with the existing therapies that we have, which are very effective in the vast, vast majority of people with gout. I'm Crystal Fend, MedPage Today.